Are you finding that they don't really want to know? Because people may feel like they have to get up and move, but even moving can be futile too, right? I, I think there's there are multiple forms of reactions to the film. The film traveled the festival circuit before we went on to DVD. And, you know, I spoke to people, I had, you know, Q&A sessions, I, I went to a lot of these festivals, and, you know, you see, you see a lot of different opinions. You see, you see one, one of the opinions is, wow, we, we didn't even know about this, you know, thank you for opening our eyes to this. Um, you see another opinion, wow, that's very, that, this is very scary information. And you see another one saying, ah, oh, these are, you know, I mean, what proof, I've seen proof that this is safe technology, blah, blah, blah. Now, the, the group that I, I'm targeting with Full Signal are the people that don't know anything about this. I, I, I've said from the beginning that my film is not the, the end-all you know, form of information that, that should be out there, uh, by no means whatsoever. My, my film is an introduction to the topic. Um, I am targeting the people that know nothing about it, and, I, and my goal isn't to scare them either. My goal is to make them aware. Now you're aware of this, of this global debate. Go do your own research and make your own decisions. Because those are the people that are really going to make the, the correct decision, in my opinion. The people that are scared are going to have this um, you know, reaction where they'll, say, where they'll be scared for a couple days, maybe use their phone less, and then say, you know what? We're all going to die anyway, so, you know, what's the point in, in not using my phone? They're, they're, they're the ones who are going to use it as much as, as the naysayers in the first place. Um, the idea is to, is to get to these people and just inform them um, of this issue that's going out. We, you know, in, in Q&A sessions, I met a lot, of, a lot of people who said they knew nothing about this. Um, young people, who, some of whom came to the theater by accident. Or, or who came to watch another film and by chance um, saw my film playing and decided to walk into to my film and watch that one and said, wow, we, we didn't even know about this. Uh, a lot of people actually, uh, a lot of people like that. Um, I've been showing it in universities as well. Um, and it, it, it's, it sparks debate, but more often than not, I find that people just don't know about this issue. And this is, this is what brings me the most joy um, and the, the most satisfaction, really. Um, this, is, this is the biggest reward for, for having made this film, is that, is that people who come up to me at the end that said, we didn't know about this issue before we saw this film, and now we do. Um, and this, this, for me, this is great. People are buying the DVD. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful to everyone that buys copies of the DVDs. Um, they're, you know, we we sell them all over the world, literally all over the world. Um, it's it's been translated into Spanish, Italian, German, French, Japanese, um, and Arabic, and uh, and people in in all those countries are are buying them. So, uh, so that's fantastic. I, I feel I feel very fortunate that the message is getting out because this is this is the main goal. That's fantastic. Have you had any challenges yourself after the film was released? Any threats or any type of resistance around you? You know, I what I did was when I was working on this film, I essentially worked under the radar and I galloped through the film. I did I did all the research I needed to do so that by the time I go into production, um, no one would catch wind of me going uh, of making this film. Um, you know, I was I was worried about the industry getting you know, getting to me somehow um, and, and convincing me not to carry on making the film. I was also worried about other people uh, thinking it was a good idea and making the film themselves. Um, but, uh, you know, once the film is out and once it's on DVD, I guess, you know... Cat's uh, out of the bag. The cat's out of the bag. So, no, nobody, nobody has come to me afterwards um, after the fact. What did you shoot it in? It was shot in HD on, uh, on an EX3 camera. Um, so it's uh, it's in full HD. The DVDs, however, are, are just regular DVDs. They're not Blu-ray. They're just regular DVDs. You did a wonderful job. What's your next project, and is that something you can talk about, or what's your focus for the rest of this year? Um, I'm actually, at the moment, co-producing a, a series of four documentaries. Um, the, I've, I've gone back to making films about the uh, conflict here in the Middle East, um, I, it's it's a it's a very strong documentary. 
It's about the holy places here. Um, it's it's a project that's that's going to take us about a year and a half or two years to make. I'm I'm co-directing it with uh, with an Israeli director. Uh, it's a very exciting project. I think it, it'll be very powerful when it comes out. Um, after after which, I, I have a couple projects lined up that uh, we'll we'll see which one I draw out of the hat. That's fantastic. Well, I really want to thank you for doing this, for funding it, for the methodical research you did, and I really want everybody to buy this and support it. It's called Full Signal, The Hidden Cost of Cell Phones, and it really is electrifying. Talel Jabari, I want to thank you so much for being our guest, and we hope to talk to you again. Good luck in the next project. Thank you very much for having me, Kim.